be a little bit of a layoff uh, since the last game you guys don't play until Thursday and play again on Sunday. So how's it been having a few extra, extra days to work on stuff? Uh, it's been good. Okay, giving our guys a chance to, to heal up some, giving our guys a chance to you know continue to sharpen their skills. Some of the things we want to do defensively, our guys are able to kind of really you know lock in on that. So it's been good. How is practice different at this point in the season towards you know compared to December or even November? Well, of course, we're not going as long as we were going early in the season, so practices have been cut short. That doesn't mean the intensity is, 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 is any lower. We still are very intense, still getting after it, but we're not going as long. You know, there's there's a preservation of bodies as the season progresses that you got to make sure you, you understand. And our guys have worked really hard for the time we've been on the court. Great team's been pretty strong. I hope two and five and road games in conference. Average margin of defeat in those games about 17 points. Why the disparity between the way your team plays and home? Uh, one, we played some good teams and we didn't shoot the ball well. You know, I think we played, you know, we played some good teams, so it's going to be competitive. We have to shoot the ball better on the road and we have to defend better. You know, it's really that simple. You know, if we defend like we're capable of defending and we knock down some shots, you know, it'll be a lot better competitive game for us. Every game is obviously important, but as we get to the end of the season, we can look at the standings and say, be two lane, then you guys can lock up a, uh, believe you can lock up a top five seed, which gives you a high in the conference tournament. So to that end, how important is winning on Thursday? Well, I say all the games, all the games are important for us. Thursday is no exception. Uh, our record's gonna be judged on all the games that we played, and we have to do our best. I mean, it's a good opportunity for us to go play against a very good two lane team. They've had a really successful pre um, um, conference schedule, and uh, you know we're excited to compete. What comes with the challenge of playing on the road Thursday and then having to again, you know, to kind of stay on the road, I guess, play at Tulsa very soon after? Uh, well, the challenge of being out a long time it can, can always be tough. But, you know, for our guys, I mean, we have to look at it as a business trip. We have to go out there and stay focused on what we're trying to do, uh, stay locked in. We're in March now, so it's an exciting time to be playing. Everyone's, you know, excited about this time of year, and, and our players are as well. And I think that that'll make it, you know, a nice trip for us from, from with regards to us staying focused on what we need to stay focused on, and that's trying to try to win. Where are the lo logistics of that? Do you stay an extra day maybe in New Orleans before heading to Tulsa? Do you have to plan a day there and like practice? Might have need to practice it. How does that kind of work? Well, we'll you know we'll end up staying an extra day in, in New Orleans. You know, we'll stay there an extra day after we play, and then we'll practice, and then we'll you know, head out to Tulsa after that. What makes two lanes such a dangerous place? Uh, well, they're a very good basketball team because they have really good offensive firepower. Uh, they have a lot of guys that are versatile, so they're probably one of the more unorthodox teams that we'll play in our conference. I mean, the bigs are like guards. You know, the guards are very skilled with Cook and Forbes being, you know, two terrific scores in our conference. You know, Cross is one of the best bigs from with, with regards to handling the basketball. He probably has more assists than any big in our conference. So he's almost like a point center, not a point forward, but a point center. So they're, they're a very difficult team to to, uh, to scout and to defend because of their versatility. Last last game, Isaiah Adams seemed to you know play a little bit more confidently, get, get a couple more points in the past month or so. Have you noticed a difference in him and how he practices since that performance? He's a bit more confident. Uh, definitely, I think his, you know, his confidence is good. He, you know, he's practicing well. He's had a, you know a good week of practice. You know, he's continuing to just build on that momentum, and that's exciting to see. He's getting back to the Isaiah that we knew last season. And, you know, it's a process for some young players. He said he's had a tough, you know, sophomore year, but you know, you take it one game at a time. Just like the last game, he was terrific. He was getting back to who he is, and, and we know how good he's capable of being. We're gonna keep on, you know, pushing in that direction. How is Brandon Mayhem doing? Uh, he's getting better. I mean, it's still, it's still a process for, for Brandon. He's still not, not able to go, but he's improving. It's just a matter of him healing. How much, how much could a first round buy help with that if you were able to get a first round buy in the conference tournament? Uh, every day helps. So <laughs> it definitely would help us. You know, the longer we can, you know, hold off and give him a chance to, to get back out here, the better opportunity he, he could be with us. So we'll see. But the main thing is that he's healthy and that he heals properly. There's no, no, no real rush on that because you know we're more concerned about the young man, just his overall well-being, his health. So we want to continue to see him heal, which he's doing, and we'll see where he is, you know, during that time of year. <laughs> You know, I was I was so proud of him. You know, what a great accomplishment, uh, Coach Abe and her team and her staff have done an amazing job, and uh, just really excited for him, excited for him in, in our conference tournament, excited for him in the NCAA tournament. So they've been terrific, and uh, I'm glad to see them. You know, they're deserving of winning a championship, and they have. Big one Saturday at Duke. 
Uh, I believe it. I believe it. You know, well, you know, it's it's an amazing opportunity to see, you know, Coach K in his last game, you know, in Cameron, you know, coaching a game. And, and plus it's against our rival, which is North Carolina. So it doesn't get much bigger than that in sports. So I can imagine it being a great atmosphere. It's going to be an emotional, you know, afternoon or evening as well. But uh, I tell you, he's done amazing, you know, things in our game of basketball, as you know. And uh, I think it's, it's a great way for him to, uh, to leave the game.